I have a great place right on the water. Working fireplace, hardwood floors. It's idyllic. I have great clothes. I wear designer shoes. I have impeccable taste. I'm a good cook. I'm a decent athlete. And I'm hot. And now for my one scorching shortcoming, I'm absolutely brilliant. Weeks away from finishing my honors thesis in quantum physics. The malleability of continual equidistant vectors as they relate to time and space. Ah, oh, rats. Let me explain. Each line represents a parallel universe. My formula let me bend my line, making a critical sideways connection through the others. Some theorize that these lives are identical, with one variation. I know better. I'm stuck here. I know what you're thinking. A thousand things you would do with eternity. Get out and see the world. On foot? I tried. And did I mention it's 10.45 p.m.? Forever? Here comes another one of me right now. She can't hear me. Can't see me either. Or won't. I don't know. Just because I managed to break one major natural law doesn't mean I know them all. Hey, four eyes. Your mama can't integrate E to the X. Nothing. Well, at least I can still touch my stuff. Every 30 seconds, it starts all over. What about the bite, you say? What if she noticed? She won't. She never does. I could eat the whole thing she'd never notice. But good point. I'm still too scared to touch anything she might notice, because, come on, I've seen Back to the Future. Shoot me 40 or 50 thousand universes to get up the nerve to do that. To touch something after she leaves the room. Send. I've got about 18 seconds from the time she goes into the kitchen until the next me comes in. Like I said, each parallel universe is almost identical. Almost. She always leaves a drink, cigarettes, magazine. The labels differ, but Cameron and Justin break up in every world. See, the actions are the same, the taste and style are unique. What's unique about me? I'm the only one who solved this damn equation. So far, the only idea I've come up with for how to escape are these emails. I'm sending them to myself with the last piece of the connection formula. And with infinite possibility, one of these broads has got to be more clever than I. Oh. oh. Obviously not this one. Ooh, fresh socks. Some genius will come along and help me. She's got to. I send it over a thousand times a day. I don't even remember what a day looks like anymore. Now it's just the passing of 2,881 oblivious roommates. She's not carrying anything. That's weird. Tell me about it. You can hear me. Yup. How'd you do it? I got your email. Thanks. 